have some beautiful weather on the way as we head toward the weekend. We have some out there now, partly cloudy skies. We had a few scattered thunderstorms moving from the foothills across the eastern plains tonight, and those are pretty much on their way out at this point. But we also had snow. Look at this. Pikes Peak snow. That's the uh, railroad right there going up the mountain. And uh, this is from the National Weather Service in Pueblo. So it got down to 30 degrees up there. It was cold enough to support the snow in the higher elevations. Partly cloudy skies for us tonight. We'll have warmer weather tomorrow. Highs back in the mid to upper 80s, low 90s as we go into the weekend. And sunny weather on the way for our weekend and pretty much all of our seven day forecast is going to stay nice and dry and warm for us. Temperatures in the 60s right now, 66 for Commerce City and for Highlands Ranch and 66 for Aurora. We have 69 right now in downtown Denver with our humidity level at 39% and winds in from the south at 13. So it's been very quiet here around Denver. We did have those scattered showers off to the west earlier tonight. Now we have a few scattered showers down to the south here just as you pass Castle Rock down toward Colorado Springs and into Canyon City. Also across the eastern plains, a few severe thunderstorms earlier today near Akron and Linden. Now we have one storm just right outside Burlington, but we don't have any severe weather associated with that. Now we're going really wide here to show you Harvey, which is expected to strengthen to a Category 3 hurricane as it heads toward the, the coast of Texas. Here in Denver, though, I don't think we'll see any moisture from that. At least that's what the models are showing now. It looks like this is going to kind of wrap around on itself, but you can really start to see the eye here forming as this turned into a Category 1 today, but it is going to get stronger as it heads toward the coast could top out with winds of 125 miles an hour. They'll start to see those outer bands tomorrow afternoon and in through Saturday. And look at these impressive rainfall totals. This is going to be uh, catastrophic for some areas. 8 to 10 inches of rainfall in San Antonio, 12 to 16 around Corpus Christi. Anything shaded in white could be 16 and higher amounts of rainfall. Houston about 4 to 8. So this is something we'll keep a very close eye on and keep you up to date on. Temperatures in the 60s through the overnight hours tonight. As you head out the door tomorrow morning, temperatures are jumping into the 70s by 9 a.m. And we'll be in the upper 80s for tomorrow afternoon with lots of sunshine on the way. So I don't think we'll see much in the way of thunderstorm activity tomorrow. Dry and hot across the eastern plains, 70s and 80s for the mountains. For the Broncos, looks great. Partly cloudy skies. We'll have temperatures around 80 degrees to start off once the game gets going. And all weekend, we'll have those nice warm temperatures with partly cloudy skies, lots of sunshine on the way and very dry weather sticking with us all the way into next week. Not a lot of fluctuation in our afternoon highs or our overnight lows. This is a pattern change for us, and it's a pattern that's going to bring a lot more sunshine and a lot more quiet weather our way. Difference a week makes. Yeah, right? I know.